Okay, slide number six. Uh, in the section of background analysis and methodology, slide number six will help you. There are two things which you will have to include in your technical report and they are listed in slide number two. The first one is background analysis and background analysis is also known as theory and analysis. So in this section of your technical report you will have to briefly describe the theory relevant to the work which is portrayed in your technical report. You will have to provide design equations means either communication related equations or power related equations mathematical equations which are actually necessary for your experimentation or your observation okay so those mathematical design equations must be a part of the theory and analysis section you will also have to include calculations that you have carried out or computer simulation results that you have obtained through your experimentation in the theory and analysis section and in this section you will have to provide values for all key parameters so whatever key parameters that you have used in your computer simulations or your mathematical calculations based on design equations you will have to provide all the information regarding them in the theory and analysis section now coming towards methodology methodology means the method that you have actually carried out your calculations or your computer simulations or results that you have actually taken out from a physical prototype so those experimental procedures must be included in your technical report and the methodology must be clearly given so in this listing you will have to describe the apparatus that you have used and whatever materials that you have used for your experimentation or simulation you will have to actually include them in this section you will also have to show your test setups experimental platforms or prototypes that you have used in the methodology section the third one is if this section is well written any electrical or computer engineer should be able to duplicate your results means the experimental parameters that you have actually given in the methodology section of your technical report must be properly simulated or properly prototyped so if someone else is reading your report and he wants to simulate the same parameters for himself he must be able to duplicate your results so whatever results that you have actually put in your technical report after the methodology that you have used must be duplicatable duplicatable ka matlab ye hai ke agar aapne ye parameters wagaira use kiye hain to agar koi aur banda jo aapki technical report ko pad raha hai agar wo usi tarah ke setup pe wahi parameters use kare to wo results jo hai usi tarah ke aane chahiye so this actually prevents people from fabricating results और लोग करते हैं रिसर्च फील्ड में जो है लोग किसी का पेपर उठाते हैं किसी का थीसिस उठाते हैं या डिजर्टेशन उठाते हैं या कोई टेक्निकल रिपोर्ट उठाते हैं और उनके पास अपना यूनिवर्सिटी में या घर पे या मतलब अपने लैपटॉप पे सेटअप होता है और वो वही पैरामीटर्स जो है उसको यूज़ करते हुए एक सिमुलेशन कर लेते हैं और अगर लेट सपोज वो रिजल्ट उससे नहीं आते तो उसका मतलब ये है कि आपने जो है अपनी टेक्निकल रिपोर्ट में रिजल्ट्स जो है वो फैब्रिकेट किए हैं एंड दैट इज एक्चुअली अ वेरी बैड ऑफेंस इन एकेडमिया सो इफ योर मेथोडोलॉजी सेक्शन इज रिटन वेल इनसाइड योर 
technical report so any electrical or computer engineer should be able to duplicate your results so hopefully this is clear and always keep an eye out for this never fabricate results always put results that you have actually taken out from your simulations or your experimentations or practical prototype experimentation in your technical report fabricates na kiya kare kyunki log pakde jate hain